Hi, uh, my name is Dejun Park. I'm going to talk about the K beacon chain. Um, so, so far, people were talking about how to and what they implement um, the clients and network. Um, but now I'm going to talk about a little bit different, which is about how to formally verify the beacon chain, uh, especially state transition function. So, um, before we go, um, this is our awesome team. This, this project, um, we all at the runtime verification um, do formal verification for any safety critical systems like smart contract, um, consensus algorithm. Um, and now we are really excited to work on this formal verification of the beacon chain uh, implementation. So, um, the K beacon chain is a an executable formal model of the beacon chain uh, written in the formal language called K um, for the purpose of verifying the important properties which are called the uh, accountable safety and plausible liveness of the beacon chain implementation. Um, how many of those of you know the K language? Oh, okay, awesome. So those of you who don't know about the K, uh, the K is a formal um, the language um, in which we actually specify the EVM semantics called the K-EVM, which we use to verify many high profile smart contracts using that K-EVM um, specification. So uh, um, including the recently we verified the if 2.0 departure contract as well using that. So K is kind of really like formal language, you can use any formal thing in this domain. Uh, so let me go to some big picture about what we, where we are and wh uh, what we are going to do next. So we have the k beacon chain, is a formal model, which actually formalize the Python uh, formal spec of the beacon chain. So we faithfully formalize the whatever the, the Python spec into our K formal language, and that we have the formal model. And as I said, the, the one of the benefits of using K language is that anything is modeled in the K language is executable, which means that it's not just modeling the paper, just you can actually execute and you run this model, so you can actually even test. So what you are doing, what we what we've done so far is we write down this model, we run the exactly same test, the conformance test suite, you run in the clients to make sure that you all agree on that. So we run the same test and, and, and we make sure that all tests passed. So we have a fairly high confidence that our model actually faithfully captures whatever the um, spec and also implementation. Um, so I will, uh, get to that how what it looks like the um, K beacon chain model uh, is, but so, but right now we finish the K beacon chain model, and the next thing we we want to do is using that model to pr prove the safety and liveness proofs on that model. And once we've done these things, we really have a high confidence that your actual client implementation also satisfies these nice two properties as long as you follow the value of the spec. Uh, is that any question at this point? Okay, <laughs> awesome. So uh, now I, I'm, I, I'm going to show you how this formal model looks like. Um, so uh, we actually decided to have really uh, the model that the very similar to the uh, spec to minimize the potential mistakes that made we uh, write down this formal model. The reason is that, that this is because, uh, this, this is important because if our formal model has some I mean, differences from whatever spec or implementations, even if you prove these things, they may, may not hold in the actual implementation unless we verify again, same thing over those implementation as um, the, what it, uh, the lighthouse I mean, talks, as I said, right? So um, we actually have very similar formal model that looks like 
almost one to one correspondence to the spec. So I will give you some example how it looks like. So here, the left hand side, we have a Python spec, especially for the beacon chain state definition. Uh, so we have a beacon chain spec, uh, definition, the usual Python data structure. We have many things here. And the right hand side is our K called K configuration, which is a mathematical object of the same exact beacon chain state. And we have really similar structure that we can even follow the each one-to-one -one line uh, drawing that the slot, the same if you want data, and so on and so forth. So make sure that they are very similar um, and make sure that we are not missing any important thing. That's the one thing. Uh, next thing is we have a bunch of the functions in the Python specs, right? So each function we have uh, K called rules. So you can think about rule as a like function in Python. So in the function we have left hand side is called uh, process apple. We have like called a bunch of function in sequence. And then in the K model we have same thing. We, this curly arrow means that it calls followed by this and followed by that. So you can see also very similar. The only difference is made is they have this state is actually uh, explicitly mentioned is here and no state mentioned that. Uh, mainly because that state actually is already global, uh, which can be uh, access, accessed, which is the next example. So for example, if your function uh, access any state, like state.slot, uh, in our K model, we can simply mention those slot, this called configuration, these guys. You just mention that, that means you just match that, so match the current state, and then you can just use that whatever match there in your um, like function body, something like this. Instead of state, state that slot, you can just mention the state slot. Where is it? Uh, yeah, there you go. And then if you have any if statement, like assert, which can be described as our requires uh, clause. So it's pretty much very similar. You can see this, right? Um, so one thing is like formal model is not really like different thing or like things. You can even write it <laughs> um, uh, from, uh, in, in, in K, as long as you know how to write an interpreter or writing the, the Python code. So that's that, but the, there is an exception that we are not really similar uh, in, in, in the case that we have Python least comprehension. So in this case, this, uh, we have this get matching target attestation, which simply filtering out uh, whatever the target is not matched. Uh, and then Python using this list comprehension, which is really succinct and uh, easy to read. Um, but we decided to not using this list comprehension and uh, similar syntax because we think that it's more, e I mean, it's better to explicitly specify what's going on here using the traditional iteration approach. So we have like, um, like uh, defining filter function and filter function is simply iterate each uh, the attestation list and then uh, if the targets match, then it include, otherwise it, it, uh, filtering out. Uh, so this is kind of exception that the two models are a little bit different, but, in, but essentially they are same. So that is how this formal model looks like. And then um, we already have a good confidence that, I mean, these two are very similar, but we want to do more. So as I said, we run all the tests and make sure that all tests passed. Um, but in addition to that, we also measure the test coverage, which means that how many of formal, I mean, how, how much part of formal mode are actually exercised by those tests? And you know what, actually, we realized, we found that actually some tests are missed. Um, for example, the same program, I mean, same thing example, uh, sorry, this one. Um, so that is Python um, coverage to report where uh, you have this list comprehension. And then this list comprehension can be, I mean, the, you have a full 100% state coverage if you have only one single uh, test because it's single line. Whatever your one test, it, it just executed and you just recover. But, but, but the thing is that this is a filtering function, so you need to have at least few tests, like whether filtering, whether it's filtering out, I mean, some every element, so we're filtering out only some of the element or nothing. So um, since we already specified that 
uh, explicitly those iteration, uh, we found that the existing test only uh, test uh, none of them is filtered out. Everything is just all targets matched. So we found that uh, something is filtering out case is not uh, covered. So we wrote down additional, additional test. So we found another similar missing test and we propose and uh, write uh, more test. Uh, and then I think that will be uh, included in the next release. So yeah, we not only have a formal model, but also we help improving the test uh, suite. So that's what we have so far. Um, we have a formal model, which is very similar to the specification, Python specification. It, it passed all the tests, so we have a very high confidence that, that captures whatever spec and implementation. Um, and then our next goal, as I said, is to now prove the safety and liveness in that model. And then once we have that, we are very high confident that clients are secure, I mean, safe and live. Thank you. <laughs>